on. So off the rip, this is already a limited edition board. I could just, just looking at it, you got speckles, you know, the glitter speckles. This is fire. Golly. My friend was like, yo, I got this board. I think you're gonna like it. Okay, so we're gonna unbox this complete and it should be fire. Woo! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's go. I might go skate this right now. Yo, what's going on everyone? My name is Dez360 and welcome to Flipping Boards. This is the channel where you get to tune in to my skateboard and cardboard, aka trading card, collecting journey. And in the process, you can learn a few tips on how to buy, sell, trade, and collect skateboards and trading cards. Okay guys, today we are gonna unbox two skateboards, two really cool skateboards, really iconic skateboards. I'm hyped on them. And then I'm gonna tell you um, what I paid for them. And then I'm gonna tell you what they go for. So we're gonna see, did I get a good deal? Did I pay, you know, top dollar or market value and understand the world of flipping and collecting. If you're new to the channel and you collect skateboards or trading cards, welcome. Hey, that's what I do. That's a passion of mine, right? I love skateboarding and I love collecting cards and skateboards. So why not do it? keep as many boards as I can, and then I might have to sell some so that I can keep buying boards. Like that's kind of my methodology. I wanna grow my personal collection, but it's not like I could just spend, you know, a bunch of money on a hundred boards, but I might buy, you know, two, three boards and I'll keep two and then sell one make a little money and keep doing that process. So the tips you're gonna learn today, as well as having fun just unboxing nostalgic skateboards is literally how you can buy and sell boards, you know, make a little profit and sometimes end up with an extra couple hundred dollars or extra couple thousand dollars in your pocket at the end of the year or end of the, end of the month. So let's get right into it guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We got today, dun, 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 dun. one of my favorite skateboard brands classic collector's item. Everything they put out, in my opinion, is a collector's item. Because when you see these boards, it just takes you back in time. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about the legendary Hookup Skateboards slash Jeremy Klein Industries Skateboards. Shout out to Jeremy Klein, always showing love. Literally an ambassador in this culture of skateboarding. He says it himself, I am not an athlete, I am a skateboarder, so. <laughs> If you are a skateboarder, if you are a skateboard collector, if you are just part of the culture, there are so many aspects to this culture and it's just beautiful to watch. So let's just get right to the unboxing though. Okay, so this first board here, I'm hyped on. My friend was like, yo, I got this board. I think you're gonna like it. Um, yeah. It's a complete, by the way. So we're gonna unbox this complete and it should be fire. Look at that wrap though. Part of flipping boards, um, if you ever do sell skateboards, make sure to wrap them well. He uh, opted in for some saran wrap for some extra padding, extra protection, since it's a complete skateboard. Here we go. Ah! Woo! <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. I might go skate this right now. I might go skate this right now. Okay, we have, oh my gosh. I love this. Love what you do. Collecting skateboards, yeah, I might sell skateboards. And it's hard, dude, it's hard selling a skateboard because I wanna keep them all. But I gotta have a business. <laughs> Especially hard when you get a brand new hookups. Naughty Geisha 2 skateboard complete? Let's go, let's go. What? Yo, check this out. We got some history in my hands right now. Naughty Geisha 2. Yes, this is a rare uh, hookup skateboard and um, it's beautiful. You obviously got the 
naughty geisha with the old that old thing in her hand and um you got mushu you got mushu behind this truck here you know when you have a fire skateboard when there is literally um cobwebs ooh cobwebs <laughs> in the trucks that's when you know you gotta steal that's when you know you got history in your hands so yeah we got the oh my gosh crooks trucks hey if you know about crooks trucks you're a legend i think we got the lucky bearings spitfire wheels so that's always an added plus i'm probably man if i don't skate this which i still might you can always take these off throw it on another board and then you can hang hang up the uh, hookups board but what do you guys think of it super fire i'll tell you guys what i paid and then together you guys can tell me hey is that a good is that a good deal um you know what i mean and what it can flip for but i'll just be honest i have seen these online ebay selling for like when it comes to hookup skateboards, because they're so rare, um, especially the classic ones, the ones that go back 10, 20 years, um, you'll see them go for easily, you know, four or $500, $600, depending on the right board, uh, depending on the condition. Now, I'm not gonna say this is brand new because obviously it's been a complete, it has grip on it, right? Grip that need, that probably doesn't work anymore. Um, but, you know, I ended up paying to $220 for the skateboard, which to be honest, isn't like that low, you know what I mean? But um, honestly, this skateboard, in my opinion, is probably worth around 300, 350, 400, like in that range. It just depends on, on who, you, you know, the, the amount that's out, the quantity. In my opinion, this board is worth easily 350 to 400 bucks as a complete. Naughty Geisha 2 is super rare. And um, hey, if you disagree, drop a comment. If you agree, drop a comment. You know, part of flipping skateboards, collecting skateboards is learning how to price the skateboard right. What makes sense? You don't wanna just outlandishly price something, but it makes sense. And I've seen a lot of hookup skateboards sell for like the complete old school ones, 500 bucks, 400 bucks. So to say 350, that's the lower end of all that. Hey, it's justifiable. Right, you gotta find what's justifiable, what makes sense. End of the day, what makes sense is that this board is amazing. Let's move on to the next board. Okay, so you already know what it is. JK Industries, Jeremy Klein, big shout out, man. I think he's just, he's just a legend in the game. Here's what we got. Woo! Hey, where are all my anime fans? If you are an anime fan, drop some anime that I should watch. Drop some anime that I should watch, anime that you recommend. A lot of Jeremy Klein slash hookup skateboards are influenced by anime directly, obviously. And so you gotta watch anime. I got some anime for you guys too, and uh, I'll probably make a video on that. But off the top of the dome, you gotta watch that Yu Yu Hakusho. You gotta watch some of that uh, Hunter x Hunter. You gotta watch that. For my new school cats, everyone watches Demon Slayer. You wanna go back in time, man, you got akira the video you got berserk you got the list goes on and on the list goes on and on and this board goes on and on so off the rip this is already a limited edition board i could just just looking at it you got speckles you know the glitter speckles this is fire golly i would love for jeremy klein to sign this board um because on the other side we have boom Come on now. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the Pearl Dipped Hatsune Limited Edition Skateboard in Black. Yes, this board came out, uh, I believe around 2019, maybe 2020. And uh, amazing board. There were a couple redrops. If you were lucky enough to snag one, it's amazing. Um, $100 board, right? Plus tax and shipping comes out to like 120 seen them sell for anywhere between 150 to 250 like it's that fire and if you have this board and you pay attention to the detail obviously you got the amazing anime artwork as i mentioned under you have the metallic black with the little speckles um and it's just it's just really this is an amazing skateboard like wow did not disappoint jeremy klein industries hookups y'all are dope what do you guys think of this skateboard? What do you guys think of these boards? Boom. Naughty Geisha. You got the old school 
and you got the new school. You guys tell me, whoo, if you had to pick one, if you had to pick one, old school or new school? Drop a comment below. As I mentioned, guys, I'm here collecting. Yeah, if I end up selling a board, hopefully I make a little bit of profit. But if it ends up hanging up on my wall for a little bit, so be it. Like, I, you got to enjoy the culture. I enjoy the culture. Keep learning about the culture. But, you know, stay flipping. I'm Dez360, flipping boards. We'll see y'all next time. Peace.